Hi everyone, welcome to Ready Up Reviews and we're going to be looking at Loot Rascals today. Loot Rascals is the latest release from Hollow Ponds in what I describe as a roguelike card strategy game. The game centres around you, the astronaut, trapped on a planet full of monsters trying to escape back to your home planet. This involves battling said monsters, sealing their cards and adding them into your inventory to bulk up your stats. At least, that's the summarised version. I first bought Loot Rascals back in November last year as part of their 500 early access copies. They've spent that time balancing what first seems like a very straightforward mechanic, but what very quickly becomes an intricate balance of power. You see, the game is mostly about the cards. Your stats, defense and power are controlled entirely by the cards in your deck. These dictate how hard you hit as well as how much damage you'll take. There are also special cards like Ice Powers and Matt Reveal cards which come in handy later in the game. Next is the turn based system. I really love how this game manages to feel like a real time game when it's really not. As you move your character from tile to tile a turn is used. There are only a certain amount of turns until more nasty monsters turn up so you really want to get out of the level before that happens. It also influences other elements of the gameplay, day and night. There are five turns in each cycle and the state of the day or night influences whether or not a monster will attack you first or defend first, which can sometimes mean the difference between a win or a fail. This leads to you sometimes wasting turns just to get it to night again, which as I already mentioned is risky if you haven't found the level exit yet. Oh did I mention you reveal the map as you go? Yeah, you reveal the map as you go. For a game that seems really straightforward, it gets punishingly difficult very quickly. If you don't master your cards by the first level, you're pretty much screwed for the rest of the playthrough. It has a steep learning difficulty that takes a bit of time to master, albeit not as hard as some other rogues I have played. Hello Binding of Isaac anyone. It only took me about 5 playthroughs to get the hang of the game and I'm currently sitting at the top of the leaderboard, which I'm certain will get wiped as of this release, so let's look on the proof while it lasts. As much as I've been enjoying this game for a couple of months now, the real icing on the roguelike cake is the characters in this story. I'm used to my roguelikes being a bit light on the story side, but this title has a lovely range of quirky and eccentric characters that are so hard not to like. For example, take the teapot dude! Within the first five seconds, he was immediately my favourite character. He's your friend, he's smart, and he's also a little bit spacey. And for some reason, he has a tiny wee butt! There was no need and yet I really appreciate the attention to detail. Overall I love this game for its strange but likeable characters, well polished mechanics and challenging gameplay. I find it's the type of game you can pick up for an hour, play a run through and set back down a game which makes it perfect for people who like to be challenged but don't have as much time in their hands. The game will be released on Steam, Playstation Network, Itch and Humble on the 7th of March so I dare you to come and challenge my epic high score. That's all for this review, thanks for listening and look forward to seeing you in the next one.